hello guys welcome back to my channel and today i will be showing you how to draw perfectly digitally with your mouse yeah with your mouse so at the first uh, here i am using one my uh, naruto picture which i downloaded from google so here i am just tracing over that picture so it will be no more time required to draw so this is the picture i will zoom yeah so this is the picture and i will trace over it or if i draw it will require time so uh, for the video i am just tracing over so here what to do is to search paint and here is the microsoft paint so just open it and uh, here are some tips to draw with it So the first thing I will do before giving you tips that is importing the picture. So just uh, click the paste option then paste from click that and after waiting for 4-3 uh, seconds and interface will appear. So yeah this is our image imported and just drag it uh, to the size you want. So I am dragging it. So this is a Naruto uh, sketch. Not a sketch but a template. So first I will you know how we draw with a marker. So in digital I will draw with a marker. Not with a brush or a pencil. So what to do is to zoom. You can just press uh, control. <coughs> Sorry. Press control and just zoom in or out and you can zoom so now I am setting the you know the size of the brush or marker or pencil whatever you are using now so I am just uh, trying so instead of doing doing like this what to do is to you can see or option shapes so click the you know a line and just drag it over the hair the lines however you want so this is the tip number one instead you you know you keep drawing with the mouse and you do not use this trick so also you can drag or delete this lines so this is a very simple and very very simple uh, thing know. which can change your drawings. So now I will I will be uh, showing you this in the time lapse because already the video is big. I don't want to you know expand its size. So here's the tip two. So guys. If I told you to draw a circle, what you will do? So first you will check the size, then you will uh, set the brush or the marker or pencil, whatever you want. And then what you will do is that you will draw a circle. So here's how I'm drawing a circle. Then you will uh, change your colors or you can add the custom color whichever you want and then you will finally you will draw the circle okay so this is how uh, people draw the circle with the mouse so instead of drawing this what you have to do is to draw with the shortcut so also some spikes type uh, on that line so you can see this so what you have to do is to join the two lines in the circle which is not joined oops one minute yeah so for erasing what I am doing is just selecting and just erasing so this is next this is actually a tip I will be showing you next in detail so let's move to the tip second which uh, which we are learning now so 
what is this actually first you will check the size again and then what you will do is uh, go in the you know shapes bar the shapes section and you will search as circle so if circle is not there just take an oval shape i am using an oval shape that can be a uh, mold in the circle shape so here i am using the oval shape first let's erase the marks so yeah it's set now so see this is how you can draw the circle just double click that circle option and you can also change the colors and also you can change the shape and all and all also the size this is the shortcut so guys the fun fact about this uh, shortcut that it is not only available in the circle uh, shape it is available in many 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 shapes so this is a comment box so here what you will do is the you will adjust its size adjust its color so here i am using you know a uh, yellow color i know it is it's a, it is a decent color but also you can put text in that comment box not only in the comment box you can put any in any shapes so how to put here it is so when you put text it's like you know you are operating a word ms word also you can change the font and underline the letters so i am trying other fonts so how to change font that just select all and you can change font the minimum font is 18 but you can also keep whatever that fits in that uh, size in that box so here i am using this size so this is red in color also guys you can see down a red button uh, subscribe button just uh, tap the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel so you uh, you will receive the notifications so how you will erase it just erase and you will erase the lines but instead you can just select and cut it just select drag all the box and all just select and cut or delete it so i am using cut so here it is so for zooming in what you can do is just go in view and zoom in zoom out so see this this is a you know rectangle in a black color and if i told you that color this full rectangle how you will color is just uh, put colors and mix all and you will shade a part all but this is the wrong way how you will do is that you can see a bucket yeah so just double click the bucket sorry choose the color and you can just fill it the bucket is not a bucket it is called as fill so you can do that at so guys this fill option is not so easy uh if you not keep a single gap in the lines then only fill option is possible if a little gap in the lines a little gap is there nothing it can't the option is not available it will spread all over the page and it will damage your artwork so be careful while using it 
so i will show you what happens actually so here i am using black it is a dark color so you can see it well yeah here i am using a rubber and a small gap in that lines can damage the full artwork now i am filling now i am uh, using the fill option in the rectangle i will use the orange color to fill and damage the page actually i want to show you. yeah see it's damaged actually i want to show you that's why yeah so what i did it just undo so you can save it so yeah it's gone now if you are using pc desktop or a laptop you, for undoing it you can just press ctrl z so guys now i'm showing you how to repair that so if any you know space is left over what you can do is just make a small line and fill it up the remaining space so it will be fill it up filled up so here i am uh, here i am making a circle by the shortcut to show the difference uh, between the shortcut one which i am doing now and how we draw with the mouse So yeah this is how we draw with the mouse with our finger on our PC or desktop and just filling it up so you can see this difference how many how much difference it is so guys the lines are not very you know it is not perfect it has uh you know a texture and see this shortcut one it is very very better than the how we draw with a single mouse so here is my artwork so you can see it so the you know i will draw the eyebrows now and that will be in time lapse so what can you do is just make a line and fold it so do how do you know how to fold it just what to do just uh, go in the shapes option the another option which is opposite on the slanting line option so yeah here is my naruto like share